Hello, we got a uh, another Mustang kit to show you, but this is it says Mustang, but this is before we had the Rolls Royce engine in the front, and it was the uh, I believe an Allison engine. But this is an officially licensed product from Boeing, the Telluride or Telluride <coughs> 51A high back. Few differences in this version. Um, Mustang T51. And just on the back, we've got a variety of versions. There's six versions available, including, which is the one I'm going to make, the uh, RAF service one. All right, indoor, inside, indoors, and inside. I don't know. I record these too late in the day to say sensible things. We've got the uh, quick look at the instructions. That's uh, Usual. If there's any part which is not going to be used, they've shaded it out. It's uh, shaded the uh, cockpit interior on this one because we are different. I believe we got a different radio and back behind the cockpit. So where well, the rest is normal, um, well, except for various other pieces, but it doesn't matter. You're not here to see that. The uh, good quality. Registration on the decals, although a few of them I think are a bit too shiny and a bit too thick, but uh, I suppose they expect modelers to cover them, spray them with a matte coat afterwards. But uh, they're clear enough. They're, uh, I'm probably going to probably paint the black and white stripes, invasion stripes, much uh, more accurate, I think, to have them painted and have a big wadge, which at the scale. It's probably like having a, a doormat over the wings. But anyway, enough of the decals. They work, they do the job. Uh, instructions, as you'd expect from a modern kit. Explaining everything. Got the, uh, the colour call outs there as well. See the final colour plates for that. Here I'm on about the different uh, radio. See, the older radio, rather than the big set there. Three bladed propeller. <coughs> Never a fan of putting the propeller in first because it's always a risk of getting the uh, snapping off the blades, isn't it? I think. But uh, various holes to open. Usual thing, not, not a very complicated kit, but uh, it'll look the part, I'm sure, when it's put together. Neither have tanks or, or bombs on this one. I think this version was used a lot for low level rather than bomber escort like the later one was. And you had different colour, nicely presented colour callouts for the uh, various versions. Like I say, I'll do this one. <coughs> but what is the sprue like? What is actual plastic? Is it, just, is it fantastic plastic or is it more like elastic? I don't know. <laughs> A uh, single piece canopy, it's uh, probably a better way of doing it so you can paint where the canopy is and rather than having it slotted in a curved bit of plastic. Um, I think, I don't think you get a, a uh, light with that but uh, that's okay, all different. Good quality uh, panel lining, recessed. Inside, you don't get any uh, detail inside though, but you might get that on another sprue. I'll just have a look, look at that later on. Uh, doesn't appear to be, but on this scale, you can't see inside anyway. A little bit of a ejector pin map that can be sanded back, um, and this area there to hold the you put the tail wheel in when you put the fuselage together as well. That'll give it, but uh, yeah, the old high backed. P51 with the different engine in the front. One piece lower wing, Sing no uh, no flap option here, but you can probably cut them if you want to do that. If you've got a thin enough saw, tail wheel just goes in there. Nice quality molding on the wheels. I can't see if they're weight on wheels, but uh, 
you can take a uh, sander to that and make him make him a little bit great on the uh, you see the seat has got a uh, belt molded into it which is a nice idea and the headrest there separate part and the radio antenna and the various doors bomb racks and the radio you're not going to use because you're going to use a different one on the other sprue this one here right and the uh, in underneath parts there and on this version you've got guns which for want of a better word cannons which stick out <laughs> um, the bombs are quite good as well you've got a uh, detonator foos area over there or whatever it's called alternative seat but that's got a uh, molding of a uh, belt on it as well. So you can either have the uh, holes in the wings or the well, most versions of an A version. You've got the cannons, <coughs> three, three blade propeller rather than the four blade one you have with the, with the P51D. Exhaust nozzles, yep, yeah, it's all here. And uh, yeah, simple kit, but sometimes the simple is all you need so sometime in the next few years I'll be building this together and it will look something like that so there we are it's not a bad kit at all a lot of options um, I've seen worse I've definitely seen worse I've shown you worse uh, but there we are thanks for watching bye bye